Hello, I'm IBX Toy Cat, and welcome back to another episode of the Toy Cat Show. This is an audio only show I run on the second channel that is actually going to be changing names soon because we do have returning guest slash co host thing, Zodo. Hey! Yeah! Hey! So we did decide on a second name, didn't we? We have, yes. Would you like to reveal it to the audience? Yes. I need drum roll. Ah, oh, you, 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 you don't have the effort on the first channel, do you, to put in a drum roll ra- nope. on your second channel? Look, we'll oh. do it right now. That's that's like a drum roll. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. Well, is it going to be the Power Up Podcast? Yeah, damn sure. Sounds straight. great. I love it. It does. It's got alliteration. It's got like the the rule of three. It's got everything in there. Yeah. So, yeah, if you want to go check out the Parrot Podcast, that's where the next week's episode will be uploaded. Go subscribe now, because otherwise yeah. you'll miss it. This link is Link in the description. Yeah, link in the description. Well, yeah, link in the description. <laughs> do on, it. On the second channel, it's always like, do I have the time to put in a link course in Of course you do. Of course you do. I didn't even have, put our sponsor's link no, in last week's episode. Really? Nah. Oh, well, they were very well, disappointed guys, with me. There'll be a link in the description, and there'll be an annotation on screen. No, no, now. no. The, oh, yeah. And the annotation will last exactly <laughs> like five seconds. The annotation will now go away now. You are the worst. And if you missed it, if he doesn't do it, in the comment section below, just spam it. Oh, spam the comment section yeah. until he you, does it. You are a bad human being. I anyway. know. <laughs> it's under two minutes in, so it's not like you have to listen for a lot. Okay. Oh, well, I mean, two minutes is still more than I usually put in. Anyway, yeah, this is the audio-only show where we talk about video game news, tech news, and YouTube news a little bit, and then sometimes where it all mixes up. And I think the first story is actually one that I want to talk about because you brought it up to me, and I hadn't heard about it. But basically, there is going to be a farming simulator controller. Yeah. And... <laughs> oh, man. Like, Wait, I before, played Before we old... talk, uh, Go on. quickly Google, uh, if you've got access to this, Google yep. farming simulator controller. The first image is what we're both looking at. So... Let's talk about it now. Go. Right. Well, I I have played uh, both of them. Well, f- fourteen and fifteen. I used to play fourteen a little bit. I played it for about four hours and then realised <laughs> I was wasting my life. And then you went out and got your real tractor and started farming. I have a real tractor <laughs> and I have a real digger and I have a real trailer and I have real pigs. There's no reason for me to do it inside the game <laughs> <laughs> and then when 15 came out i was like eh, i'll try it. <laughs> how many hours do you have in farming simulator 15 then why do you only get a little try about one. Oh, okay if, then we're i've played that. more farming simulator than you then i'm a yep. better fake farmer than you are you are a better <laughs> fake farmer than me but this controller oh, yes. costs three hundred dollars but it's the only real way to play Farming Simulator, because... If you play the game, then it will be a great investment. <laughs> it comes with a steering wheel with so many buttons on it, you would not believe. It even has a little ball on the steering wheel for faster turning. It's amazing. I mean, there's... Two pedals. I, I just, I'm just looking at this, and I'm like, what do those 20 separate buttons do? Like, some are purple, some are green? You can map them to whatever you want. Oh. You would have... You would have your your trailer tip. You would have swap <laughs> vehicles. You would have enter. You would have exit the vehicle. You could have oh, the jet wash button. Yeah, that that oh. all sounds so great. That sounds oh, um, yeah, I want to play some farming simulator now. Now you're gonna make me load up during the podcast. So yeah, that is <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so ridiculous. I just I really don't understand how they got like someone to like they convinced like a peripheral manufacturer to actually make this. And I don't know how many cells they're going to have. Because if you're playing Farming Simulator, it's because it's a fun way to distract yourself in your spare time, I think, anyway. Uh, I, and I, I can't see it being a serious game. Yeah, right. I, I, it costs half price. It's just it's just kind of a little bit of fun, like a fun on the side, I guess. But if you're spending 300 on a controller, you have to be so into the game that you can justify spending that much. Because, yeah, I mean, like, if I'm playing it this much, might as well play it in style. Yeah. It's like I'd... So this is for rich people... Who play farming simulator in their spare time? It's for and rich farmers that play farming in their spare time. It's got yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's rich farmers who are upset with controller as a means to control their tractor. Exactly, that, that must be you, right? You must be like, oh, this this is garbage. I want to. Well, have I, I must admit, with racing games, I have always preferred a steering wheel, um, mainly because I can drive in real life. So using a steering wheel is much more natural to me than. 
see, an analog stick. I'm the polar opposite. I would love. I, I feel as though I, I hate Linux driving in real life, but if you give me a controller, I'd be amazing at real life driving. Like, yeah. I, I don't know why that's not an attachment yeah, yet. When, like, when my when my fiance uh, wanted to start learning to drive, uh, I was saying you're gonna have to learn how to use a steering wheel and pedals. And she's like, no, 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 no. I'll just hook my my uh, truck. She has a, a four wheel drive truck. She says I'll yeah, just hook up to course. a controller, and then I'll have a selfie stick out the back of the car with a GoPro on it, so I can drive my car from third person. <laughs> Oh wait, wait, wait! That's a thing they've done before. Have you seen? Um, Have they really? Rooster Teeth. Actually... Um, they made this uh, thing where they they took a car, they blacked out all the windows, put a camera behind it, and then put like a TV on the inside that could see the camera. And the no guy way. actually drove it in first person. And he, he was really bad at it because I think he could drive in real life. But still, it's an amazing idea, right? Like, uh, I, I, there's also a thing by Razor where they had like a drone follow you around so you could live your life in third person. It's a, wow. also pretty fun. But that's pretty funny. Third, I, I feel as though this is a thing we need to embrace. Like people play video games now. Like more people probably can play racing video games than can drive. If you just like, if Ford, for instance, just has a high end car that's like, oh, plug in a controller and it does the thing, and it works. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, uh, um, imagine if you're. I, I can't think of any argument against it because. Well, they have. Think about it. They have flappy paddle gear stick. Uh, flappy paddle. You know, gear shifting. In in vehicles. Why why can't you? Change up and down via a controller. I have no idea what flappy like, panel gears are, but you I'll... know, flappy, flappy panel behind the steering wheel. Oh yeah, in like Ferraris instead of having a, oh, a manual yeah. stick shift. Oh yeah, that that thing. Yeah, panels oh, yeah. behind them, like on an arcade machine. Yeah, like on an arcade machine. <laughs> they're they're a real thing. They're just a button that makes it change gear. Yeah, that I feel as though the future is controllers because controllers... Microsoft get on it. Yeah, the first Xbox Wait. car. Yeah, because Google's making a car. Microsoft makes a controller car and. Yeah, it's it's an Xbox controller. Boom, amazing idea. Yeah. So PlayStation do one and have better graphics. We should we should keep this. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> we um we should keep this to ourselves so we can uh, sell this later. Though quickly, actually, I want to ask one question. If so you were offered one of these for let's say only thirty dollars or thirty pounds, let's say, would you buy it? No. Ten pounds. No. I, I, it really doesn't interest me. What if you had to pick it up from the nearest post office? That's all you have to do. It was free. That's a like seven miles away from me as well. So. <laughs> I have to drive there to go and get a steering wheel. Yeah, you have to drive the tractor to pick up your fake tractor steering wheel. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> there is a steering wheel that I do want though. Um, Xbox One compatible. It's a Thrustmaster one. It's like the the best company for um, steering wheels and stuff. But the only trouble is, is that for all of the stuff that I want for it, it'll cost me in pounds around sort of five to seven hundred pounds. So Which what, is like a thousand dollars. What I'm hearing you're saying here is Thrustmaster, if you want to send AJ a steering wheel, he will drive to his nearest post office and pick it up I will and drive, he'll promote it for you. I will drive to wherever in the UK to get that thing. Oh, that's like that's quite the offer. Six, six yeah. gear shifter, three pedals. Everything, S- mate. I, I love how we want literally the opposite. Like in a steering wheel, I just want like the 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 easiest possible experience that makes me feel like I'm driving, but clearly not driving, so I think that's kind of interesting. Anyway, uh, the second story we have here is to do with the PlayStation 4, because it had a patch recently. And it's it's really interesting when this stuff happens, because it sounds like it's something that does uh, shouldn't happen. But basically, the patch enabled... Uh, so if you don't know, the PS4 has an 8-core CPU. It currently uses 6 for games and 2 for the operating system. It enabled the 7th core for games. And it basically means the PS4 just got a 1 6th increase in its power. And... Uh, well, even though games aren't going to be utilizing it for a while, do you think this is something they should have spent all that time doing? Or do you think they should have done what the Xbox did and uh, entirely ruined the interface instead? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a would you rather question. Isn't it? <laughs> it is, it is. But it means we get to bash on the Xbox while also complimenting the PlayStation. It's great. Um, well, I can't. Why did the PlayStation not have that in the first place? I don't know. Like, if they just had it sitting there. Yeah, well, I mean, I assume what it must have been is it was really tricky to get done, so they just left it there so they could do it later. <laughs> like uh, just as a like one up for something. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, um, like this this happens actually. It's happened a few times, like with the 360. They innate. I don't know how they did this on discs, but they made it so there was a certain amount of uh, like a disc is eight gigabytes. Some of that can't be used. Uh, they managed to make a patch for the 360 itself. The minute it could read more of each disc, so games got bigger after like 2010 or something, and yeah, apparently they can change the technical limitations via software patches in very small ways like this. Mm. Mm-hmm. But as far as the Xbox dashboard update goes, because uh, <laughs> that 
that threw me off so bad because I had it a couple of days before you. Oh yeah, yeah. Didn't I, I somehow? <laughs> and I was I was looking at it. I turned my Xbox on and I was like, "What's happened? It's changed. I hate change." <laughs> I I feel as though it should give you at least a guide around or be like okay everything's changed yeah, would you like to know yeah. what's going on or would you like to be thrown into it and just try and work out how to do what you want to do oh exactly. the second one okay <laughs> uh, at least i can find the achievements easier on this one on the last one you had to like go into my profile my friends then sort of back out and then i, I could never find achievements i I, I will agree that that is entirely tricky. Oh, but like, there's so much stuff for like, just because you don't know where it is, you're like, I want to do this. <laughs> Where's the friends option to go into that to find that? And, uh, yeah, it's it's all messed me up. However, I will say that the thing I really like, I know this existed before, but now it's really easy to find. There's a thing called Game Hubs where you can learn like all about the game. It has like it's basically the the game has its own Twitter feed, which is bizarre. I don't know who updates those, but um, one of the cool things in there is you can compare yourself to your friends, not just in your achievements, but it'll pick random stats from the game and compare you. So like uh, Fallout Four is my favorite one because I've been getting a bit competitive on that. It'll be like, oh, who's the highest level out of your friends? And it has like thirty friends there, and it gives you a crown if you got the top one. I think oh, that's right, pretty cool. Yeah. So you can be like, oh, yeah, I've completed more quests than any of you guys. Yeah. And stuff like that's awesome. That's but pretty cool. I, I think I actually want to add the Xbox One to my hate list this week. Cause yeah? Because I've been trying so hard to defend this console. Because I, I really do think that it's about equal of the PS4 in a lo- 99% of ways. Yeah. But it, it finally threw me over with this dashboard update because it wouldn't give it to me even though I was trying to get it. And then when I finally just decided, okay, if, if I, to, to, to get updates, I have to turn on this always on mode. So I turn it on. When you leave it on always on and turn off the Xbox, it never truly turns off, which I know is no. part of the thing. But I've got the PS4 on always off mode next to it. It's silent. I don't notice that at all. I leave the uh, the Xbox One always, uh, not always off mode, or always on mode, whatever it is. And it makes this really high-pitched whine that I can't get to Ooh. sleep with. Mine doesn't. Like, is it in my, the same room as you that you sleep? I, it's always like my 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 console has always been on the always on mode, like the just a sleep mode, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but so I, when you turn it on, it like instant turns on and it downloads yeah, things. Yeah, you know when you're not I, when the console's technically not on. Ne- it never makes a sound. I like the okay. So it's admittedly this is at night when I'm trying to sleep. You can't notice it during the day, but as soon as nighttime comes and everything stops being quiet, there's just this noise it's making constantly. It's oh, like, really. Do, do you sleep in a separate room to your consoles then? Yeah. Or oh, you are very lucky. I, I feel as though for eighty percent of people this is an issue, but like if you want to have it in your room, why why did no one look at that and be like, let's let's make that a bit quieter? So yeah, you're, it's on my hate list because I have to either pick between sleeping well or having updates on my console. It's <laughs> they've well, made me pick. They've made me pick. Yeah, way way up. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I do like something that the PlayStation has with achievements though. Um, you, it, it tells you how rare the achievement is compared oh, to the other players. Oh, that is. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I really, really like that. I, I really like it too because um, not only does it tell you how rare, it gives you like a rarity rating. So it's like this is quite common. Sixty percent of players have this, but then yeah. you know when you get a achievement that like point three percent of people have. Uh, and also, you get really interesting statistics with this. So I've got Minecraft on my PlayStation Four. Only I think it's four point nine percent of players have ever defeated the Ender Dragon. Is that right? That's right. On the PlayStation 4, that is. And some of that seems like, oh, yeah, well, I guess a lot of people don't, like, ever play survival. But still, like, still, a lot of people a really just... really low percentage. Yeah, right. And uh, the, the lowest achievement, I think it was, like, 0.9%. And I think it was reasonably tricky. But still, this is... a lot of people just don't care or just don't... Yeah, just people don't want to kill the end dragon in the wyvern and stuff. So, fun little fact you might not have previously known that you now you do. Yay! Yeah. Yay! <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the last story. So yeah, the the last news story here that I totally remembered I didn't have to quickly cut and uh, come back with <laughs> is uh, Black Friday happened and it was yesterday. Yep. Before? Yes. Uh, well, Friday. Friday. Yes. Um, <laughs> so there was a uh, Black Friday sales everywhere, including on the PlayStation and the Xbox One. Neither of us bought anything because I don't know. We're we not. have an Xbox One and a PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um. Yeah, I, I I didn't really see anything that caught my eye. I wasn't like, yeah, I need this thing. Although I did I see. Look, I looked through the game website, and it just wasn't that good. <laughs> like, yeah. So I know. I went into a physical store, but only kind of by accident because I was just having a busy day, and I was like, oh, head and scan. Oh, it's Black Friday. That's lame. And like, two guys just immediately accosted me. I'm like, do you want to see our great deals on consoles? 
I was like, how much then? Just out of curiosity. I have them all, but I'd be curious. And yeah. it's like, uh, I don't know, like some, it was 250 like, and it's like, that's not even that good a deal. You're selling that normally. And it's like, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. And it's like, well, I have the consoles anyway. It's like, you sure you don't need a second one? And I'm like, oh, I guess yeah, I do. Yeah, of course I need a second one. <laughs> I need a, I need an Xbox One for the downstairs and my upstairs. Don't put it in my kitchen. Good job, yeah. dude, for selling me this stuff. Uh, and- the thing with the, the thing with Black Friday is with all companies, and it's not just the UK. It's the same in America as well, where it originates from. Like mm-hmm. Black Friday's only been big in the UK for like the last two years, anyway. It's not even big. It's like medium size. It, so. Yeah, it's just it's just people that know about it sort of go go to it. It's not that people, that companies are putting on good deals. It's that the companies that have the really bad leftover stock from earlier in the year just need to shift it before the new stuff come in. Yep. So the only stuff that is on offer is the It's the never the things tech. you want. Yep. Yeah, it's always the old stuff mm-hmm. and the terrible furniture and the old fashion. It's not, nothing is the new stuff. I... I saw this, um, like, it, it vaguely relates to what he's saying, uh, like, uh, the fact that, you know, like, all these companies just want to get rid of stuff. It's not a big event for us. It's a big event for them. Uh, because there's this BBC article where they're, like, they're going around the country and seeing how, like, Black Friday openings were going. Because it was, like, 9 a.m. on a Friday morning, like, everyone's at work and stuff. It's, like, all the stores have their, like, big grand openings. They've got, like, five staff members and, like, one dude walks in. <laughs> and it's just like, yep, yeah, that's, that's pretty great. And, uh... Yeah, as it turns out, no one actually cares over here. Or some people do, evidently, but well, not, not as many the as The thing over here is the fights that break out. Like, I'll, I shall link you a video. Have, okay. have the fights really break I I think it's a much bigger deal in America, right? Like, so right, on... this, the video that I just linked you, right, is this kid. He's about seven or eight years old carrying something for his mum on Black Friday. A woman comes running up to him, grabs the box off him, and runs off. That is America, uh, though, right? No, that's here. How how can you tell? Cause they, oh, wow, they, though, yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it, There's it so many hard. boxes. Just pick one of the ones from the just, floor. Yeah, just pick one off the floor. But no, I grabbed <laughs> the kid's one that he's holding. And oh, so my God. Many. Yeah, I, 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 I'm slowing down now. And I'm actually seeing that. You are the worst. And then that she can is... take from the mother, too. Like, Yeah, it's so it's bad. Sits... And it's like this absolutely everywhere in the UK. Uh, next year, I'm going to do what this guy does, because the guy uh, that recorded this, is, I just found this on uh, on this website here, but uh, I can't remember at the moment, but he has his own uh, channel that he just basically films stuff on Black Fridays. <laughs> he just goes to the shop, not to buy anything, but he just goes there and films. Because feel... he always gets something. See, now that sounds like a really inconsistent channel idea. Like, okay, every single Black Friday we make a video. And it's like, that, right. that seems yeah. like a once a year channel. Not the greatest, I suppose, all around the year channel. But when it does come around, boy, is it funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> you get people running in and they run over each other. Like yeah, some I... poor old person will, will fall over and then they all come running over him. Some guy died last year <laughs> from it. Here, so... in the UK. See, the thing is, humans are really great at being friendly to each other, except when we kind of all want something. Yeah. And I don't know why we simulate that environment with Black Friday. It's like, it, hey, you know what's really great? When people trample each other to death, how about we uh, give them 50% yeah. off a TV if they get in here first? So like, they get in yeah, here early. Like the arguments over TVs, like, the, you'll see a guy carrying out, like, it's like a 40-inch TV, and he has this giant box, and he's carrying out. Some guy just runs up to him and just tries and pulls it out of his hand. <laughs> it's like, I'm holding it. Yeah. I, it's literally mine. And the thing is, when you steal like that, I mean, it's kind of awful, but you're only stealing a deal. Like, I feel as though if you're at the point where you're willing to steal from someone, you might as well steal the, fi- you know, the final product, right? Yeah, like, steal it up when he walks out the door. Then you don't have to pay for it. Exa- exactly, yeah. You know I mean, don't steal it inside the shop. Don't steal altogether. But, I mean, pay- be patient. If you're going to steal, <laughs> if maximize you're going the returns to. on the steal. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I, I've like always just... thought it's ridiculous, yeah. I, well, I mean, we maybe, because we're not in the situation where we need 30% of a TV, we just don't understand. Maybe these people, they only have X amount a TV costs x plus 100 and black friday is the only chance they get so they have to steal tvs to get them at that price nope can't understand it all no. <laughs> I, I, I always want to try, de- try and play devil's advocate but in a situation like this it's like nope they're the no, devil it just doesn't work like the tv i got i got a great deal on my tv it's a 50 inch tv and i got it for 180 pounds oh man how it was online 
I just l was looking through online. I found it. It's actually a really nice quality TV. In fact, it has... It, I don't Wait, what brand? A, what brand? I, it has no brand. Oh, it has nothing it's... on it. The only trouble is, is that it does not understand my 360. It doesn't understand it. Like, it uh, does <laughs> not read my 360. My Xbox One, it plays my Xbox One. Oh, yeah, you said I that. unplug this, yeah. it and plug it into the 360, it just has no idea it exists. Pro tip Apart from here. that, it runs pretty well. Sometimes it's a little bit slow on the on the guide when you're watching TV and you like want to see through the channels. Wait, it actually has satellite channel. built into it as well. Yeah, yeah, wow. free view built in, 1080p, full HD, really, really nice. Just has no brand, 180 quid, flat script, completely flat, really, really nice, 180 quid. You make me feel bad because I have the same thing, but like 50 something inch uh, 1080p, but it cost me 300. And I was like, yeah, that's the best deal ever. And now, you, yeah. now you've ruined that for me. Ruined it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I think that covers Black Friday. It's it's bad. And we should we just send it back? Like send Black Friday back to the Americans? Yeah, just like, go away. We, we don't need it. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that, that works. We'll send it back. Americans, you, you can keep it. We'll, uh, we'll stick to whatever holidays we have right now. I think yeah. we've got too many. Well, actually, how about we trade it in for Thanksgiving? I could do with another what turkey. What is Thanksgiving? Uh, oh, I, I should is it just a celebration of turkey? I think it's the day America, like uh, Columbus first, you know, it's landed is in America. It? I think, but I think there's also Columbus Day, so. Uh, but mm. yeah, let's assume it's that, and let's just be ignorant. And the, the comments love it when you're ignorant. And uh, so, yeah, they yeah. just they celebrate by eating turkey. It's the celebration of turkey, <laughs> of dry, tasteless turkey. Wait, it's the anniversary of the turkey. Also, you don't like turkey? I like turkey, okay, I but say. it's just dry compared to... It is very dry. Well, okay, how about you, I don't know, dunk, dunk it in some juice. <laughs> mm, just get juice. some meat just juice. Just some, some juice. <laughs> when I say juice, I just pitch some orange juice, which, to be fair, why doesn't that work? Like, I'm not... Okay, so you're going you to have to be the master chef in the cool for a moment. Why can't... So people are always like, oh, chicken's so dry, or turkey's so dry. Why can't you just dunk it in, like, I don't know, water? What's wrong with that? Why why does that not fix the dryness? Explain it to me, Master Chef. Um <laughs> Do you not know? I have no I God damn I can I, I can barely cook toast. Okay, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna make I'm my no own chef. theory up and answer myself then. I reckon it is because the bird if it if if it liked to be wet originally, and you know turkeys are a water bird, right? No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, no, no. That's that's the duck. That's the duck. <laughs> okay, chickens. Well, well, I've. When do you see turkeys in the wild? Let's be real. Like, how often do they show up? Right. Once I'm giving you turkeys, making sure I actually think of the right animal. Yeah, turkeys. There. Wait. A turkey in water. That that. See, it can go in water. I'm crying. And they sometimes do. <laughs> Look, turkeys turkeys are a water bird. That's 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 a new fact. Anyway, so okay. turkeys turkeys like to be in water when they're alive. So then meat Turkeys meets... have a natural predator of octopus and shark. <laughs> their only natural predator. <laughs> <laughs> but they like being in the water and therefore their meat get used gets used to it. Uh -huh. And therefore we need to put the water back on the meat. I mean, yeah, du they're... ducks are very nice, um, soft. Mm. Yeah. Oh, uh, does that but... ruin my theory, actually? Cause, yeah. No, du ducks are water bird. Yeah, but ducks not dry. No, ducks not dry, so it's in the water, so it makes it... Yeah, but turkeys, I mean, like... Turkey's not a water bird. You, you're going to ruin my water bird theory on the turkey here. Like, I'm, I'm going to make that a fact. Rather than admitting defeat, I'm just going to defend turkeys are a water bird. Because if you Google <laughs> turkeys in water, five of the top six results are of a turkey in water. Well, um. yeah, because you Googled it. I'm sure if you Googled <laughs> T-Rex in water, it'll come up with a picture of a T-Rex maybe in shallow water. In water. Oh, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Only four out of seven, though. So You know, you know I've got a feeling that a cat <laughs> is also a water dog. <laughs> so if you Google cat in water, I bet every image is going to wow, be... Wow, you're right. No, it's yeah. only six. Only six of the seven. Yeah. One of them's of the cat trying to get out of water desperately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah do you know why because they don't live in water bird. like turkeys that's true that's true so yeah that's um new new facts invented by the podcast uh let's let's uh let's leave this black friday discussion uh and 
you know, inconsequentially just leave my fact out there as correct. And let's move on to the, the final section of the show, because we do have to be quite a faster. And that is the Would You Rather section, where I asked you a question, and then you Google it and ask me one, because you didn't pre-prepare. Right? I've got one. Oh, I've you do. One. Darn I'm it. <laughs> anyway, so my I have, I have two questions, because I like to break my own rules, I said a few seconds ago. First of all, it is a, a question. I'd, I'd love to know your opinion. Would you play Russian Roulette? You know, you're familiar with the the game, I'm sure. We're talking about bullet version of Russian roulette. Uh, what's the other version that you're thinking of? Or is are you just? I don't think there is. I thought I, I didn't know if you were like being totally like Russian roulette as in the original one or like party game style Russian roulette. I feel as though pa- Russian roulette is actually an awful party game. <laughs> 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 um, but <laughs> it's good out of, good for five out of the six people, I suppose. I'll explain for the one of you out there not informed. You put a bullet in a revolver and six blanks in there, and then someone dies. But and yeah. it's a fun game to gamble on because if you die, so what, you know? But would you play one time? Th- there's just be one bullet, one out of six. It's entirely random. But you get a hundred million if you win. Would you do it? Like right now, you got to pick in the next ten seconds. This guy's trustworthy. He's Bill Gates. He's got an interest okay. in you for some reason. 100 million, one Bill time. Bill Gates is completely trustworthy. Um, 100 million. Yep. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like, just... I I think I would too. But, I mean, uh, I think a lot of people would say no, because that is a one in six chance of just... Oh, hold on. Now you have zero million. Yeah, but it's a five in six chance that you're good. <laughs> well, I mean... good odds. I mean, some eighty com- percent chance of getting how much? A hundred million? Eighty-three percent. Yeah, hundred million million. But yeah, actually, yeah, your your whole life, no more work, no more anything you don't want to do ever again, in exchange for a seventeen percent chance of death. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think, I think, I think, if you don't do that, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. Exactly. Would you rather live with regret for the rest of your life or not live? Yeah. So okay, that that's a nice easy one. The next one though is uh, the superpower question that always comes up, and that is, would you rather have invisibility and teleportation or reading minds and flying? You have to pick Ooh, one of these. What are the two? Super- so, invisibility and teleportation or Invisi- reading minds ability, and flying. Invisibility and teleportation, teleportation or reading mind minds reading. and flying. Yeah, you have to take the package because they, they, they kind of don't work with each other if you think about it. Like, being able to read minds while you're in the air is kind of useless. Invisibility and teleporting. Um, why? Because I can secretly watch people do things, and if I ever got caught, I could teleport away. Yeah, that's nice. Or, because mind, like, mind reading is fun, but the only trouble is, is I don't care what people think. That's a good point, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I literally couldn't care less if they think badly or goodly about me or badly or goodly about anyone else. And now that I think about it, flying can be covered by teleportation. Flying is a slower version of teleportation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And if I wanted to see what the sky was like, you know, or the world was like up above, I would teleport up there and then teleport somewhere else before I hit the ground. That's not too bad then. So let's just make this the, the final now. This is, this is the final list. Invisibility or teleportation then? Teleportation. Um, what if it's invisibility where you're not just invisible, you kind of phase out so people can like poke through you and stuff, but you you're just not there basically. But teleportation you are. still. Yeah. But what would you do with it? Like, I you you just Bob Banks. But I mean, you then you'd be wanted. use it for evil. Yeah, use it for evil. Use it for evil. Oh, I mean, you but can use it for good. If I've uh, got teleportation and I rob a bank, if I get caught, who cares? I teleport away. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> the only way that someone would ever stop you is if they shot you. Oh, yeah. That's Otherwise, a you would be able to just teleport away. They put you in a cell. I feel as though <laughs> they'd find out you're teleporting and then they'd have a shoot on sight order or like a tase you on sight order. Because you probably can't teleport if you're being tased. Right? Who said? Where's this rule coming from? Well, okay, think about it. You know, teleporting, it can't just be a thing you instinctively do, right? Right. It's not like. It just happens when you want it to. And so it's got to be something you kind of think. It's like when you think I've of the word many cat. Times. <laughs> if you think of the word cat and then you say the word cat in your head, think of it like that, but you got to think teleport there. Or like, you've at least got to do some amount of physical, or like, or like you know, yeah, mental yeah, effort. Yeah. And when you're tased, you're just like... That's that's a very accurate representation. But you... right, so you're tased, but they can't keep the taser on forever. What are they going to do? They're going to tase you, and then what are they going to do with you? You're down on knock the you floor. Knock you out, knock you out, knock you out, and then boom. Then they put you in a... 
oh, cell. Yeah. They'd have to tase you. And when you wake there. up, <laughs> I, I guess they have to kill you or tase you forever. That's, yeah, that's the only way what, to do it. What happens if you tase someone for like a day? I'd love to know. Well, you'd I, I feel as though it's him. yeah. You'd, you'd put, yeah, you probably would fry him. Fair enough then. Anyway, so what's your question for me? The last one then of yes. the episode. Would you rather Ooh. have hiccups for the rest of your life? That's a long time. Or be on the edge of sneezing for the rest of your life? Um, edge of sneezing for the rest of my life. Because it's actually oh. kind of a pleasant experience. No, it's not! Because you kind of want to at first. But, okay, so first of all, uh, let's just get this out of the way. Do you enjoy sneezing? No. Okay, so I, I don't know if I'm the bizarre one or Boogers you are. go everywhere. Oh, no, not when I sneeze. I mean, if, you, if you've got lots of them loaded up. Maybe, but <laughs> for me, it's just like, ooh, that was nice. And I feel as though if you're almost in that the whole time, it's a little bad, but hiccuping your whole life, that's awful. Like, have you ever. Anybody that has seen any video of mine, I have hiccups. As soon as I hit the record button for a video, I start hiccuping. And I hiccup until I stop recording, and then it stops. Being the doctors about it, they said it's something like excitement or something like that in the diet. Wait, is this, is this a genuine thing? Yeah, genuine thing. I hiccup Except from start to finish. I've got better and better at hiding them. In fact, I'll be halfway through a sentence and then I'll just pause and make it look like I'm building something when actually I'm hiccuping and have to... Wait, I, wait, control. wait, wait. That is a genuine thing that happens to me. That way you're just... like It's not like every four seconds. It's like every like 20 seconds, right? Where it's yeah. just like... Oh. Just yeah, a that, slow, I, slow hiccup, but only when I'm recording. I think what that... It's, it's got to be something when you talk too much in a short amount of time it's got to be yeah. something like that because i i see it happen to other youtubers and it happens to me and it's happening to you it must be excitement and concentration excitation contra excitation yeah. <laughs> otherwise and, known as hiccups yes that i it's not real hiccups though it's like a um, i don't know what to call it it's uh, sometimes it can really hurt though like when you oh, get a yeah. big one and you especially if you're halfway through and it goes <laughs> <laughs> like wins yourself from it and you know you're looking at the video like oh this is this is so bad on multiple levels yeah that's exactly so um i think yeah hiccups I, I mean if they're the hiccups that i already get then i guess i'll cheat and take them but if it's like the you know like you've drunk too much or you've breathed in too much or you've done something uh hiccups then no i'll take the sneezing any day of the week because your your career is ruined if you hiccup every four seconds you know you're, you're oh, a yeah, bit like sure. that like oh, hello so I'm you not- would <laughs> you would be on that edge you know the edge of sneezing where you're like <sighs> Uh, yeah, you, you get used to it. You know how um, yeah. you'd get used to it. Yeah, you would. I mean, you'd get used to being. Uh, uh, okay, so you know how people get used to like I don't know being in constant pain all day every day, uh-huh. and just being in constant like tickled or constant. Yeah. I, I think it, I think you could get used to it. <laughs> Whereas something that affects you, you're not going to be able to get a job with speaking. You'd have to like I don't know work in a factory line, and even then, everyone will be like looking at you funny because you're like I. Um, and they'll think you're drunk and stuff. I just think sneezing, it's its a little bad for you, but you can control it. So I'm going to take that. What about you? I mean, you've, give, you've put a pretty good argument on this. In fact, I think you've convinced me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think, I think being on the edge of sneezing would maybe, after a little while and getting used to it, it's for the rest of your life, I mean... Yeah, maybe, maybe on the edge of sneezing would be the best. Because you got to imagine then, there's also an, a second benefit of the fact that because you're on the edge of sneezing, you can never sneeze again. All sneezes, gone. And because you don't like sneezing. Yeah. Yeah, it's just one less issue in your life. So, uh, yeah, that's um, that's what I'm going to have to say here. Anyway, um, then we're going to have to head to the tail end of the podcast because there's starting to be very loud background noises for me. I don't know if you can hear them at all. Couldn't quite hear it now. Okay, that's good. Uh, so, yeah, um, I hope you did all enjoy this uh, this is the prologue uh, power up podcast, right? Yeah, the prologue. Yeah, the prologue. <laughs> uh, the this is prologue the prologue power up podcast. This is the last episode on my channel. Technically, the last episode of the Toy Cat Show. It doubles up on that one. Uh, so, if you want to check out the new one, please do check that link in the description. Also, a quick little sponsor spot. Check out Toy Cat's Amazon link. Uh, they are the proud sponsor of this podcast, even though not knowing it. And fifty percent of the podcast uh, podcast hosts get paid when you buy anything when you use that link. So there check out the, check out the link. Buy yourself some Amazon Prime. Annotation and... is on screen now. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be there. But it's not gonna be there. 
But yeah, you, you should... Uh, actually, I don't think you can link to Amazon with annotations. No, I don't think you can, no. So oh, that's that's why. I wanted to. I tried, but it wouldn't let me. So <laughs> I hope you did all enjoy the podcast. Um, like it if you liked it, I guess. And yep. uh, I, instead, instead of liking it or sharing it or doing any of that stuff, check, click that link. It's more important. If you have like one thing you can do for us, subscribing to that channel is going to be it. So Yeah, go subscribe to the Power Up Podcast. Yeah. So thank you for watching. And goodbye. Wait, Bye. second channel. Don't oh. care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go on into that.